How's the Josh? Thank you, Punjab. Chennai is so great. Look, he got out of his car to talk to protesters. Modi should have done the same. This is karma. We miss Atal Bihari Vajpayee. He would have talked to the protesters as well. Modi deserved it. Why did he escape? These are some of the reactions pouring in after the security lapse which PM Modi had to live through in Punjab. The Congress party is in a celebration mood. Let's have a look at all those celebrating the attempted assassination of PM Modi. Hi and welcome, this is TFI English, the national socio-political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Tribhuvan and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and also click on the bell icon to receive all the recent updates. Coming back to the story, in this video, I will tell you about all those who defended or cheered the assassination attempt on PM Modi. Let's begin. The major security lapse on Wednesday in Punjab during which Prime Minister Narendra Modi's fleet was struck at a flyover near Firozpur city for close to 20 minutes is being celebrated and defended by many. Leading the crusade of discounting the threat which PM Modi faced on Wednesday is the Quint, which chose to engage in some boring what about ray. According to the Quint, the Prime Minister has not faced such a road blockade for the first time. Hilarious because the Prime Minister did not face protest by anarchists in all such previous instances of getting stuck on the road. The Quint said in December 2017, the PM's convoy was stuck in traffic in Uttar Pradesh's Gautam Budhnagar when he was on his way to inaugurate a metro line. It added, in 2018, the PM got stuck in traffic in Delhi on two occasions. The Quint said that on neither of these occasions did anyone claim that the Prime Minister's life was under threat. Essentially, the publication was trying to normalize the events of Wednesday when the Indian Prime Minister's convoy was stuck for 20 minutes, just 10 kilometers away from Pakistan. Perhaps the Quint forgot that the farm law protesters over the past one and a half years have made their violent proclivities known to all. For the Congress party, which oversaw and allegedly orchestrated the security lapse, the past two days have been heavenly. The sense of jubilation across the Congress party body and leadership is just too evident to ignore. For this party, the Prime Minister's life and safety are insignificant. All that they want is to get rid of Narendra Modi. To achieve that goal, they will go to any length. Like an obedient sepoy, out and about to protest his masters, NDTV journalist and Magsasay Award winner Ravish Kumar was among the first to have taken the ground to perform his duties. Ravish in his primetime show tried to deflect the blame from the Punjab government to shield the Congress party. Ravish claimed that PM's convoy had no prior plan to visit Husseiniwala as it was not mentioned in the itinerary posted by the Press Bureau of India. However, Ravish Kumar's claim fell flat when a Congress press note itself said the Prime Minister was to visit Husseiniwala. Right after the news of security laughs emerged, Congress's social media head Gaurav Pandi broke into a fit of excitement. He said, Power of Punjab. People of Punjab blocked all roads to Modi's rally venue since yesterday and as a result, Modi had to cancel his rally and return to Delhi. The writing is on the wall for Modi. Youth Congress leader Srinivas Bivi even used the same phrase that was used by Pakistanis to celebrate the Pulwama attack while referring to the news of Prime Minister's fleet being stuck outside Firozpur. He said, Modi ji, how's the josh? One Sanjukta Basu said, thank you Punjab, thank you for inspiring us. In another tweet, this person said, everything is planned. Remember, there was a movie in which the hero always said this, everything is planned. Akshay Kumar, I think. Sagarika Ghost, meanwhile, chose to compare Narendra Modi to Atal Bihari Vajpayee and said, Vajpayee would not have worried about protesters blocking road. He would have got out of his car and walked to meet them. Punjab Congress President Navjot Singh Sidhu said, I want to ask Pradhan Mantri Sahab, our farmer brothers camped at Delhi borders for over one year. Tell me, they stayed there for one and a half year. Your media did not say anything and yesterday you had to wait for 15 minutes. Why these double standards? The Congress party's views regarding the security lapse on Wednesday happened to converge with those of Sikh for Justice founder Gurparvant Singh Pannu. On Wednesday, this low life termed the lapse as a start for Khalistan freedom. Wahe Guru Ji ka Khalsa, Wahe Guru Ji ki Fateh, Modi te Parthi Hukumat sun le, Aaj 5 January, Punjab de vecha, Azad, Khalistan referendum di mohim, Odo shuru ho gai, Jado, Tarange wale Punjab nu shad ke Dilli wapas pounch ge, ते खंडे ते केसरी वालिया ने आज उस जगह तो मोदी देश का प्रधानमंत्री 
नंगे पैरी वापस पहुंचा देता पंजाब आजादी वाल चल चुका है इसका फैसला आज पंजाब ने कीता है द कांग्रेस हैज मेड अ मॉकरी आउट ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी इन पंजाब इट डिड नथिंग एज द प्राइम मिनिस्टर्स लाइफ वाज एंडेंजर्ड इन रूट Firozpur what's worse its entire ecosystem celebrated the security lapse laying bare the sick mentality of the party and its supporter if you like this video like share and subscribe to tfi english also leave a comment and let us know which topic you want us to cover hit the bell icon to receive all the latest updates this is tribhuvan signing off until the next one